Well, we've got the book right here, How Mommy Got Her Groove Back. It takes you on the author's journey of self-discovery, liberation, <clears throat> and confidence to redefine success. The author, Rebecca Undem, tells us how writing this book has changed her way of thinking, and she joins us here on this beautiful Friday morning. Congratulations, first off. I mean, anytime you get a book done, huge accomplishment. So <laughs> kudos you. on that. Yeah. Thank you. So what, uh, like what was birth. the... Ah, right, that's, that's exactly. Mm -hmm. So the inspiration behind it was? Well, so that's all in the story. But uh, <laughs> it, I originally started blogging um, with the website How Mommy Got Her Groove back in October of 2013. And I had, we had moved back to my hometown. So I'm from Oaks, North Dakota. So shout out to everybody in Oaks. <laughs> um, and that was like, it was one of those things that was never in the plan. Mm -hmm. Right, like I'll never do that. And, and we did, because things happen and life changes. And so I had just left a full-time job. I just had a really hard time finding a way to feel like myself because I was kind of a high achiever. You know, I've always had these big dreams, big goals, and I found myself struggling. Like, how do I feel like myself? I felt like I had lost my groove. Now, mm -hmm. did you move back from like mm -hmm. a Manhattan to back to Oaks or where? No, where... we were here. We were in Fargo. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, not Manhattan, but definitely <laughs> been... bigger city than, right, than okay. Oaks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so the book, it, I'd, I'd always had it in my mind that I wanted to write a book. It was on my bucket list, if you will. And once I had, you know, a couple years of blogging under my belt, my intention with the book was really to take kind of a compilation of those blog posts and create a book out of it. So that's what I did. And I was telling you before the segment started that I, I actually wrote a whole manuscript and submitted it to an editor and she started working through it. She edited the first 29 pages and sent me back some notes and she said, I think you should write this like a chronological story. Mm -hmm. And I said, what story? She's like, your story. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, why would anybody care? Which, that's a worth thing, right? Mm -hmm. That right away you go, wow, why would anybody care? Um, but it turns out it, it was a much better way to approach what I was trying to get across to women that might feel any of the things that I have felt along my journey. And so that's how it came to be. So what were you feeling along the journey? Well, it's just, so I try to be really honest about how hard it is to be a, a woman that wants an, a career that, mm -hmm. that is meaningful to her, and then balancing that somehow, we, we use the word balance, right? Work-life balance um, with family. And it's just not easy. And then, you know, to compound all of that, I also had this, I'm now in a rural community thing that was just really a lot harder to handle than I expected, that I ever anticipated, so. So in what ways did you start to kind of get yourself back? Because like you said, you didn't feel like yourself. So how did you kind of start to develop that? Well, I think, you know, so my professional experience the last decade has been in people, the people development space. So like working with companies, doing corporate training and things like that. So I had a lot of good foundation for how to work through this stuff. But then once it was my life, of course, mm -hmm. I couldn't seem to take my own advice. And so the biggest thing I think initially for me was to allow myself the grace that it's okay to change your mind. Because I, you know, I think and the other big kind of theme of the book is that you, we aren't going to know how we feel about something. We can say, oh, I'll never do that. Or when I become a parent, mm -hmm. fill in the blank. Yes. And I always joke, like, I've been eating my words since 2009 <laughs> when I became a mom. But we won't know how we're fe really going to feel about it until we're standing right in front of it. You can't project or forecast how you're going to feel about certain things. So for me, it was moving back to my hometown and at the same time, becoming a mom, I had, I had no idea how I was going to feel about those things. And honestly, the first child, I was still pretty career focused. Second child, struggled a little bit more with that. And then we have three now. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm sacrificing everything at home all the time. And I still want a career. Mm -hmm. So how do you work through that? So f for me, it was giving myself the grace, like, it's okay to change your mind. Yeah. Even if you said, I'll always be this way, or this is how it's going to be, it's, it's okay to change your mind. We don't give ourselves enough grace, I don't think, as women. I, I concur with you. All Stick right. around. We're going to talk about more about this fantastic book and her journey right after this.